All right, riders, practice is over. I'm pretty knackered, I have to admit. But I've just seen this in the, in the paddock, and Alex was explaining it to me. And I reckon e-bikes are for everyone, and I love this idea. So Alex, what have you built here? Okay, so this is the Orange Phase 83, uh, which is an adaptive mountain bike that we've built first for Lorraine Truong, but for anyone who's got limited use of their lower limbs. Or, uh, and effectively what it means is you can balance using your upper body and your core. So you strap into the seat, you've got a quarter throttle here, which drives the motor, which drives the wheel. And you've got this balance handlebar here. You use this to actually balance the bike using your upper body. And this articulation and this linkage here actually allows it to lean and steer like an entirely conventional mountain bike. It's amazing. And so you're not using a traditional Shimano or Bosch. What, what, what motor have you got going on here? So this so is a uh, Paradox uh, Kinetics uh, e-bike motor, which is uh, one and a half continuous, uh, two kilowatts peak. And that just means for Lorraine, uh, she can actually keep up with a, an able-bodied rider out on the trails, as opposed to the kind of 250 watts we see of the Shimano and the Bosch system, for example. Nice, nice. Now let's see it in action. Getting in and out is different for different people. Um, but effectively, once you're in, you're using this uh, handlebar here to do all your balancing, and you use the throttle. Another feature we've got on the bike is actually the seat is on a seat post suspension, which actually allows the riders to pump the bike a little bit, which with conventional bucket seat bikes, you can't change the position of the center of mass. You'll see a lot of riders get bucked and kicked. Whereas if you can actually pump this a little bit using your secondary suspension, it just allows you to jump nicely. Yeah, I mean, not everyone's extreme and hardcore. How does this adapt to like a regular bike? Can someone get this system on a normal bike? So at the moment, like it's going to be uh, it's a system that I designed and it's paint pending, uh, and I'm working with Orange. Uh, but effectively, the whole concept of it was to maintain the existing geometry of a bike, so you could pick any bike in the Orange range and we could apply the system to it. So I love you could it. Have a trail bike, you could have a, a gravel bike, you could have a road bike, all the way to a full downhill bike. Perfect. That, that was all just because of the uh, the cantilever front end. So actually, if you look, the secondary head tube is perfectly in line with the original head tube. Um, and the system is all on the front end of the bike, so it doesn't change. This is a, effectively a completely standard orange phase mountain bike with just the addition of the linkage to the front end. And the different motor. And the different motor. Yeah. Yeah. And a 500 watt battery, the same battery. Uh, this is a custom battery because these motors are actually 48 volt, as okay. opposed to 36 volt of yeah. the Shimano system. So we custom made this, we actually 3D printed it and used uh, built the battery ourselves. Okay. And so how does everyone find you? Is it through Orange or through your own company? I think the easiest way is to go into the Orange website and there's a Phase 83 page and if you email orange, info at orangebikes.com, uh, basically I'll get back to you. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Cheers. And it's a really great invention and I love the fact that e-bikes are opening up for everyone. You know, my dad can ride e-bikes and now people that aren't, you know, aren't, aren't able to ride conventional bikes yeah. can ride. Yeah, so I think it's amazing. So great work.